your smarts and my... He told me enough! No, I... Hey everyone, it's Don G. Corleone here, and I'm here with a brand new kind of reaction. And this reaction is going to be for a um, video um, in a series that has um, stalled since, um, y'all remember, in 2020 when I started YouTube, three years ago during the lockdowns, there was a series from a user where he talked about if he directed Disney Star Wars. Well, yeah, AJ Markle has released the newest episode after three years of waiting. Around like either, I think three and two and a half years since the last episode with my old recorder. Well, now today's reaction is going to be for today. He's uploaded episode 10 of this series. And it's if I directed Disney Star Wars episode 10, The Force Awakens. So... Yeah, I haven't watched this video yet, but let's just check it out right now in 3, 2, 1, play. About two to three years ago, I created a series called If I Direct Disney Star Wars and even gave my own thoughts, including five backstories on several characters, including Rey, Poe, Finn, Kylo Ren, and even Luke Skywalker. And even bringing up some characters I think should be added, which are not limited to Rey's own mentor, in my opinion, Leia, Admiral Ekbar, Han Solo, and more. So I will break this down the best way possible and even recommend checking out the rest of the series so you guys can understand where I'm coming from. So let's get to it. So Rey's backstory is obvious. She is a Palpatine, but she's a Kenobi. But instead of Obi-Wan Kenobi, I'd, ra I'd rather he be kept as a model Jedi and have like a family member or kin. So yeah, be exactly. Like an uncle to Rey. And even though she is force sensitive and he could connect... He did not want to connect to Rey as a grand um, niece. Instead, he had a basically a niece that was killed by none other than a spy that was sent by the First Order. That will be still a thing, by the way. And he used his time as a Force ghost or spirit to basically give them hope. Now, with this conclusion, I will say that if I threw these Star Wars, will probably end like this. Here's how it would start off from the very beginning. At the Force Awakens. In The Force Awakens, Poe will obviously go out to bring a message about Luke Skywalker's location. And the reason Luke actually hit there is not because he's scared. It's a matter of fact he's actually trying to protect the resistance from him because a little bit of an Easter egg from Empire Strikes Back and in Return of the Jedi, he actually knew that if he was there, he would be putting them in danger because he had a connection. In this case, he had a connection with Jason Solo. I'm not calling him Ben. Ben's going to be for his son, Ben Skywalker, which is a character from Legends, which will be brought up later. And, and of course, now that I brought up this part about Poe, he does go bring out the message, and he gets tapped by the First Order, like in the Force Awakens movie. Yeah. And then he ends up going out there to try to protect himself, gets captured, and in his last effort he resisted the the uh torture device plate it didn't work well, Kyle was able to get information out of him and Poe was severely injured and then Ben comes over to help him but Poe was dying Poe knew that he was dying so he this... trusts Finn who ends up defecting from the first order to give a message to the resistance and tell him everything that's happened this is he already better than the movie BB but he can give the message to him this so, is already way better than the movie. In basic terms, then at that moment, from leaving the first order, he automatically became part of the resistance. So he didn't lie to Rey when he meets her on Jakku. Speaking of Rey, she had, here's a little more about her real quick, in my own interpretation. She had years of training after her parents died, but again, she didn't really know that for a long time. 
And also, Ray had so many years of training that she even knew some self-defense and basically knew how to survive on her own. So it wasn't a matter of a Mary Sue or random buildup of a short yeah, no. role model. No. As a matter of fact, she's a representation of that no matter what you are, whether it's male or female, you work hard at what you do and still become very stronger regardless. So Ray does defeat some of the scavengers, which that's what she is, in order to become a better character. And even to the point where Ray ends up becoming a strong character, she ends up becoming very popular because of the training she will later be given. Yeah. So after Ray and Finn meet up, it gets to a point where they find the Millennium Falcon, which was originally stolen, but they were able to get into it because Ray learned how to basically take advantage of controls that she did have her own ship on Jakku. And Finn, despite being part of the clean department, secretly learned some tactical maneuvers because he was on a TIE fighter in the past as part of his training by Captain Phasma, who will be a recurring character rather than being killed off in the original Last Jedi. Yes, please. She should have been a character. When Ray and Finn not only meet Han Solo and Chewbacca, and it even gets to a point where they have to go back to finding Leia who is the leader of Resistance. And she kept the name Organa, but she also kept Solo, because she and her husband were separated because of what their son did to the original Jedi Order, which caused Luke to go back into training, much like Obi-Wan did when Anakin fell to the dark side. So as things go on, though, they would go into training, and Finn will learn how to use a blaster more often, along with Rey, they both get trained by Han, but because they were both more sensitive, because it was revealed that Finn had secretly learned to meditate, Leia would help them learn the ways of the Force. And they would stage a plan to go against the First Order, which did not have Starkiller base. Instead, they went to an ancient Sith planet called Korriban, which was a, they were able to find some ancient Sith texts so they could become very powerful. And they would try to find more documents back it up. They even had old SIF computers back in the core band so they can get a lot more information. So as things continued to go on, the war between the First Order and Resistance was starting to go at a head. Because the Resistance, they wanted to find Luke. But Leia told them off that you can't go out and find Luke. He will find us. Which is true. Luke would make the decision if he wants to reveal himself to become mm -hmm. a very powerful leader. Yeah. He knew that because of his connection with Jason... He would endanger them. And Leia would possibly yeah, better. endanger them too. So rather, she would have to be in the shadows. Hansel That's better than what the last Jedi offered us. He would help lead. And under then, he is not force sensitive. He was still a lead. So, so here's what ends up happening. Rey does still go through lightsaber training with Leia. And she would still go through more training to learn how to defend herself. But she was not ready for lightsaber combat yet. Yes. In the, this movie. Instead, she would be ready to face off against Kylo Ren in the future. And she was still force sensitive, so her ability to use the force was still kind of weak, despite her very strong with Palpatine. Because force isn't just something that you can just randomly grow over uh, and no. Instead, Absolutely you not. have to be very focused and train yourself to be better. Exactly. This will also conclude that Rey is not just some random person that was strong. She uh, yeah. And episodes, the next episodes I will do, which are 11 and 12, will also bring up a second point. So now, there's, now that, that that's out of the way, the Resistance fighters begin their first attack on a whole bunch of Star Destroyers by the First Order. So it was more of a space war. And they would end up trying to find, find the, a massive ship that would control everything, but they need someone that knew about battle meditation. No one in this universe knew a lot about battle meditation. Rey could be a possibility, but she still hasn't learned about the Force yet. But Kylo Ren, taking the advantage he had, decided he wanted to look for her. And during a brief fight between the Resistance fight, Kylo Ren overwhelmed them, and Leia, realizing that her son was getting out of control, decided to fight him. And Han joins the fight. In the brief fight, Chewbacca wounds Kylo Ren because Kylo allowed his anger to blind him like Anakin and was wounded. 
This will also conclude that Kylo Ren never really was a strong Sith Lord in the first place. That was no. more of a dark Jedi. So he had a lot of training. But during the fight, the Resistance had to flee because of another airborne attack. A lot of people yeah. died during the war. So they had to regroup and went to another area. Now, they didn't really have a plan to go to. They tried to go to Yavin 4, but it was damaged. And they tried to go to Dantooine, but they really didn't have much luck there. So they had to go to another planet that was very highly known by its politics, Coruscant, where they would reside at the end of the first of the Disney sequel trilogy if I ever directed it, so they would regroup and try again. So this is one of those things where Disney probably should have revamped it a little bit, and obviously I had enough of backstory from the characters I've done to kind of help out. And Paul Dameron's death brought a new resurgence to the Resistance, rather than a lack of hope. And some characters will not be in it, but there is mm -hmm. hope when Agua Ebar returning, yeah. and even Lando Calrissian returning, and yeah. even bringing up Finn and Lando having some possible connection, it brings hope that they can do this again. And meanwhile, on an island, in Small Planet, Luke decides to feel the force and realizes someone had returned. Someone that he had never expected to see after his Jedi Order collapsed. The lone survivor of the Jedi Order. His own son, Ben Skywalker. And that's the, that's it, guys. If you guys want to see the rest of the episodes, comment below. And I do. And members will be able to see this before it gets released publicly. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Absolutely. If you like it, like, share, and subscribe, and tell your friends about these videos. I'll see you next time. God bless you, Rock. Don't forget it. Absolutely. All right, so I was being chicken out. AJ Markles, if I directed Disney Star Wars Episode 10, that was him describing the whole movie, his version of The Force Awakens. And I gotta say, this is a, already a better Force Awakens than the actual movie. Because I can agree here with a lot of things here. And I like this version of Rey's not a Mary Sue for a change. And is actually not ready for lightsaber combat. And actually knows how the Force properly works. And actually bringing back the characters the proper way here. Like, any of these Disney Star Wars stuff he says is what should have really happened. Here, and I like this series is back after a whole 2.5 years hit at us. And, um... Finally gives me something to react to again. But yeah, I mean, can't wait to see episodes 11 and 12. Till then, guys, that'll be it for this reaction. Thank y'all for watching. If you like this, want to see more? Don't forget to like, subscribe to Donji Corleone.